How to vet subcontractors. You know, there may be a time that you're going to decide to hire a subcontractor, so you want to make sure that you vet them properly. You've got to make sure that they actually qualify as a legal subcontractor. You know, I talk to a lot of cleaning business owners, both residential and commercial, and they say that they're using subcontractors only to find out that they're actually employees. Uh, they, they're not uh, classified, or they're not even a real business. They're not even a cleaning company. Uh, in some cases, uh, some of them are even paying them cash underneath the table. So, but anyway, make sure that they're a legitimate legal subcontractor. And to do so, all you have to do is uh, ask them if they're registered with the state uh, in which they're doing business. Uh, a good indicator that they are a legitimate company is that they have an EIN number. Ask for that number. Uh, something else, they have to have their own equipment. No question about it. We can't provide them with, with equipment. Now, some companies will try to skate around that and get into some gray areas to where they're renting the equipment to the subcontractors. I say don't, you know, don't try any of those strategies, tactics, or whatever you want to call them. Just keep it really clear that, uh, that, you're, um, <clears throat> that they are a legal subcontractor. And uh, you know, the other thing is too, do they have employees? Now, if they've got employees, then more than likely they're a legitimate company because everything else, all the other boxes have been checked. And, you know, which would be great. And now they may have one employee, they may have uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, or 50 employees. That, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, something else you got to make sure of is make sure they're bonded and insured. Now, uh, for the bond, you know, ask that they have at least $30,000, uh, you know, coverage in a bond. And for their... Um, for the liability insurance, uh, ask for $1 million. So that's very, very important. We've got to make sure they have the right coverage and insurance in order to come work for, for us in our facilities that we're managing. Now, one thing you want to do is on your uh, insurance, uh, have them list you as an additional insured. Uh, that way you know you're going to be covered. And, uh, you know, ask for references. You know, you should be always ask for references. How many, you know, what other clients have they done work for? How many clients do they currently have? You know, and that's really a good thing is that they have other clients than just yourself. Uh, it's kind of a red flag if you're working with this subcontractor and you're their only client, especially for a, a period of time, let's say a year's time. Well, you know, that's kind of a gray area. So, you know, make sure they have other clients rather than yourself. And what I like to do is I really like to have my primary subcontractors and my secondary subcontractors. And what I mean by that is that my primary subcontractors are the ones that I go to. They're my number one contractors. So I'll, I'll contact them when I have a project coming up. And, uh, you know, and if they're too busy uh, or they don't handle that area that, that I'm servicing, well, then I'll go to my secondary uh, subcontractors. So I've always got a good list of both primary and secondary uh, subcontractors so I can make sure that when the jobs come up that I can get the job, that I can get it done. So, so there you have it, uh, just uh, some quick tips there as to how to vet a subcontractor, uh, you know, to keep yourself out of hot water with uh, the IRS. And, uh, you know, some other issues, uh, you know, of, uh, illegally uh, misclassifying employees. So if you like the, the information, go ahead and click on the like and share button down below. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. You'll find hundreds of videos on how to build a successful cleaning business. Until then, I'm Steve Hansen, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com.